Okay, my friends, and we continue. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the second of three parts of the biggest hits of the 2021 slash 22 season. Uh, the video I'm reacting to, guys, as a rugby player, of course, is 20 minutes long. We're at 6 minutes 51 seconds. My reaction to all of those highlights you can find in part number one. This is part number two. There's no time to lose. Let's get into it. What have we got here? We've got a defensive back, could be a defensive end, could be a defensive end. I'm not going to hold my breath on either of those, but what we do have is a quarterback who's fumbled the ball and is running after a defensive. Has he got the pace? Has Drew Luck got the pace? Let's see. Victor, Nick Bob. No, he doesn't. And his name's not Luck, it's Locke. Drew Locke. There he is. Believe it or not guys, I've never seen him, but I have heard of him. He's 25 years of age, and he just fumbled a pick six. A scoop and score! Melbourne. Well, I'm not gonna say it was Drew's fault. MG3 had a fairly large part to play in that, and in fact, he's, he's he really doesn't know what's going on. Look at him, both arms outstretched. He's probably knocked unconscious for a split second at this moment. Either way, the game goes on. That was impeccable timing. Now, who's that? For some reason I thought I could have sworn that was Najee Harris, but it can't be because Najee plays for the Steelers and he's got 28, not 88. Does have the same haircut. And I tell you what, sometimes, guys, sometimes the haircut's all you can sort of um, recognize them by. Tell you what guys, talk about a goal line play, talk about a clutch play, talk about talk about stopping a, an impending touchdown. That's what we've got. Play with a big lead. And more action and That's horrible. That is the type of contact a fighter in the octagon, a UFC fighter, would receive from you know one of the most perfectly placed uppercuts one could ever throw. Let's talk about a McGregor uppercut. Let's talk about a left, a left hand uppercut from Conor McGregor to Chad Mendes. All right, let's go back. Let's go back five, six years. Conor McGregor, clean left uppercut to Chad Mendes. That's basically the type of contact you're experiencing in this hit. Look at the way his head snaps back. That helmet is giving you absolutely zero protection. In fact, it's probably going to make the swivel of the head even worse, okay? Terrible. But that's football. Oh, fuck me dead. Oh, oh this is fuck. This is supposed to be NFL football, not Muay Thai. Muay Thai is the, the martial arts of eight limbs, okay? We've got two arms, two legs, two elbows, and two knees. And I tell you what, that's that's almost like a, a Muay Thai elbow straight to the head. Killers, they are. These Thai guys over in Thailand doing this shit day to day, you know. They do it in their sleep. And they absorb them in their sleep. But for an NFL player to absorb an elbow... Anyways guys, I'm going down a rabbit hole. Let's continue. That's nasty. Well, the rookie Javon Holland comes up and just stamps him, and it, it could be just short of a first down. What's the hit as he comes in? And... Oh, Holland, 
Who's that? Gilmore? No. What a half he's had here in Atlanta. To Schwartz. See, I didn't like the look of that from the moment he started running. Well, I'll give him about five yards, but he started slowing down, he started stuttering, which is what Leonard Fournette does far too often behind the line of scrimmage. And, and I'll tell you what happens when he does that, when Super Bowl Lenny starts doing that too often. He goes absolutely nowhere. And, uh, well, that's what we've just seen here. First up, no major collision, Schwartz. this legal seriously the more I watch this I'm like look one of these hits right one of these hits bad enough can end a career it can end a career whether it be a spinal injury whether it be a brain injury whether it be someone dying has someone died from a hit to the head on an NFL football field maybe not instantly maybe not at that time well maybe it has happened I don't know I, I doubt it but certainly the repercussions from hits like this over and over again is going to affect someone later in life and, and those storylines are heard all around the world now you know people are aware of this I've got two girls okay if they were boys if they wanted to play rugby at the highest level play football at the highest level I'd have to think twice but then again you're not going to stop your kids from doing something are you so we continue Just Did we just see? And then dropped immediately. Whoa! That was like in sync. The two hits were in sync. One guy caught the ball, one didn't, but both hit the ground. Oh, fires. <laughs> That's a bit rude. <laughs> That's fucking rude, bro. Number 81, he didn't deserve that. Receivers, Demora and Rogers both got smoked. Oh, they got smoked, all right. It's a Lions takeaway at the 40 yard line. Racing back in is Amani over Warriors. I was waiting for the hit to happen on the Detroit player. Big Ben fires. Juju Smith Schuster. Schuster got stamped. Well, is it stamped, smoked, or split in half? I'm not sure. A big hit, Matt. This is high. Jesus Christ. Not returned yet. It's at those moments that even a guy like me who hates a fair catch at the best of times, and you know, hates a touchback even more so, um, a fair catch is warranted at that moment. You don't want to be taking hits like that. Not legally anyway. God, that'd feel good, wouldn't it? Coming through like that, shutting down a play, absolutely demolishing your opposite man, and staying on your feet. Celebrating like that. I mean, is, is it home field? Are the Jets playing at home? Because if they are, there'd be no high like it. You can hear that up here. Ben, how could you do that? May he rest in peace. It's times like these. You see an attacker turn around, catch the ball, turn back around, and get absolutely sandwiched between two defensive players coming in, you know, at full force, full speed. It's times like these, all you can do is just lower your head and give a few seconds of silence. Now you might think I'm joking, you might think I'm making fun of the situation, but I'm not. Because I tell you what, all I can hope for is that this guy gets back up. He's not moving thus far, but that's because I've paused the video. Arnold throws, and a 
flag after the big hit laid on Marshall. Man, right. Can you imagine, right across the fucking throat, right across the throat, you, you're running as fast as you can, you get hit with something coming, you know, back at you as fast as they can, but it's not at the hips, okay, it's not even at the chest, it's in the throat? Ugh! Biggest hits of the 21-22 season. I did see that hit. I did. And Najee Harris being one of the most exciting players in the league at the moment. One of my favourite players, absolutely. No doubt about it. You know, I don't like to see that. Anyway, what do we got? Ravens versus Dolphins. Early in the first quarter, Ravens ball. Here's Duvernay getting it on a handoff. He's got a first down plus. And then gets smacked by... You love to see it. You do love to see it. Believe it or not, I actually... I didn't watch many games this season, but I did watch this one. And this particular video, not only this video, but this also this actual screenshot, I used. I put this highlight on my channel. And it went relatively well. And, lo and behold, it makes it to the biggest hits of the 21-22 season. Javon Holland. First down pass. Off the far side, it's incomplete. And there's a late flag. What is Taysom Hill doing down the field like that? Get him back behind the line of scrimmage, for God's sake. And gets smacked by Javon Holland. First down pass. Off the far side, it's incomplete. And Hasn't he just been paid about $60 million to extend his, his, uh, his deal? And you're going to throw him down as a slot receiver like that? There's a late flag. Taysom Hill lunging oh, to the Oh, no. Second and two. Oh, Jesus, can you just imagine it? The brain stem, the spinal cord. What is happening? What is happening to that? What damage is happening to that? When hits like this are put on, I mean, it's just, it's just unthinkable, unfathomable. But that's NFL football for you. Now, what do we got here? We've got a running back running to the left, gonna be behind his, his tackle there, his, uh, his, his, his guard, his center, Oh, actually, all five are really doing their job. Um, I'm thinking that this guy's going to come in here. He's sort of—he's got the jump on his defeat. He's got—he's this cornerback's got the jump on the wide receiver here. I don't think the wide receiver's going to do very well to uh, to block him at all. In fact, I can see a big collision coming. Let's see what happens. Right back to Coleman. He picks up the first. Not quite. Not quite. But being that it is part of the biggest hits, the 2021-22 season, we're about to see something spectacular. Is it 22 coming across with the big, the big clubbing left hand? Who would know? He's surrounded by four defenders. Look, he's boxed in. Which defender puts in the hit? Let's find out. One goes low, one goes high. Stefan Diggs, out in the flat, out in the open. Catches the ball, gets past the first defender, but what we do have is another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven um, Atlanta Falcon defenders coming in at full, full speed, full force. Uh, what's gonna happen here? On the edge, makes the first man miss, big hit. Sean Wood. Oh. Snap. Oh, using the crown of the helmet. Hey, it's not good. The helmets are weapons, they really are. Protection initially, Mahomes brought down. Oh, and this was a bit of a worry throughout the season, wasn't it? Patrick Mahomes getting concussed multiple times. You know, it'd be one it'd be one thing playing center concussed. But it'd be another thing entirely trying to play quarterback with a concussion. Yeah, fuck that. And the ball came out. David Long in the recovery. And Mahomes slow to get up. And then I think as he was going down trying to throw the... Jeepers creepers. We've seen it. We've seen it time and time again. It's the snap back of the head. It is whatever part of the defender's body making initial contact with the chin or with the head you know, from the side of the head, from the under, underneath the chin, even from the back of the head. I mean, it's just... These helmets... 
just like this. It's a replica, but it'll do the job, and the job it does is sweet fuck all. Sorry guys, I may be getting a wee bit ahead of myself. I may even be stating the obvious. It's just what's coming to mind. I don't like seeing this. You don't like seeing this at all. Because at the end of the day, yes, they might be concussed, but you know, in that one, one in a million, they might end up coming out like Ryan Shazier. You know, that story on Ryan Shazier, you know, going in for a, a tackle, admittedly head first, but coming out, you know, like that, um, and having, you know, come across that story within the first four or five months of me actually, uh, you know, watching the game really sort of changed my opinion on things. It, 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 it took away, you know, that, that initial like laughter, that, that sort of joke aspect of a big hit and it, you know, and it really confirmed for me very early on just how, just how dangerous and just how real this, this game is, you know. The ball, someone hit him in the chest and face area as well. But it makes for a popular video. And there are some funny hits, I mean there are. If the guy bounces back up, you know, we can have a bit of a laugh at, at, at these guys' expense, but when it gets real serious, I gotta turn this shit off. Oh boy. Mason Hill gets away with it, and it's a nice play. He flips it to Ingram, and there is gonna be smoked by the Saints. You've got to expect a lot of these screen plays. Nah, I'd call that one a pancake. I'd, I'd, yep, I'll give him that. Play. Now who's in the wrong there? Who's in the wrong there? I, I mean, was that a flag? Was that a penalty? I hope not. Mm, lovely footwork. Ooh. Where's he going though? He's smiling, all right? Running away from the forest, Butler takes a big hit by Sedano. Wow, Schuster in motion, and they give it to him. Another run, his second of the game, and he's up in a good hard tackle there by Kareem Jackson. You talked about how violent he can be. There's an example. Has it been targeted? Oh, crumpled, absolutely crumpled, crumpled like. Crumpled like the, crumpled like the the wrap, cr crumpled, crumpled like the Christmas wrapping paper that you ripped off your present this year. And that was dumped, dumped like you were back in fifth, like you were by your first girlfriend back in tenth grade. Is made by Drake Greenlaw. Aaron for Phillips from the 11 yard line. Oh shit! He took a major pop. Was that Max Crosby? In fact, he went airborne for a moment. 48 yard kick about a quarter of the time. They start this drive and, and take it down. The Rosers having some game so far. Jacob stuffed behind the line of scrimmage. Now that's some great play. It really is. Lovely lateral movement, staying alive, waiting for the, the man to get the ball, the running back to get the ball, and just boom for shutting us down. Heat shot, middle of the field. Beckham was oh, I've seen this. <laughs> I actually made a, a highlight clip of this video too. Went relatively well on my second channel. If you do want to check that out, it's called Jake, and it's got sports highlight clips, including this one. Beckham Jr. making a tackle in his debut for the Rams. Now after that game, people were talking shit, saying that, you know, it doesn't matter, <laughs> actually, some of the memes that came out, <laughs> some of the memes that came out around OBJ going to the Rams, but not having immediate success, were absolutely incredible. But he has had a decent amount of success, and, you know, here we are, the Rams are in the playoffs, they've won their first game of the playoffs, could they go all the way? Who knows?
But I can guarantee OBJ will be a decent part of the team. And um, good on him. That's Tracy Walker on KJ Osborne. Yeah, there wasn't much happening there. Coming from the receiver spot, Jalen Davis, the rookie linebacker, was ready. Second down, 11 to come from the side, and Tanner Hill downfield. Big hit there by Williams. They were going for the two times. What's going to happen here, guys? Who's he going to get hit by? I can't tell, but there's two big boppers coming across the field. Number nine is going to try and shut down 25. We've got players in motion in the end zone. 82 is looking good. Lance will go the entire way himself. He will lower his shoulder and his head just prior to passing the... If they stop this guy from scoring a touchdown, that is an incredible defensive play. Oh my gosh. Welcome to NFL football, mother... If I was one of those defenders, I would have got up as soon as I could, while he was still on the ground, of course, and said, welcome to the NFL. Ooh, I don't mind the step. But that didn't fool anyone. I like both the offensive play and the defensive play just as much as each other in that one. Guys, we've reached the 14 minute mark of the video. This is part number two. As I mentioned at the start, we've got six minutes to go. Uh, it's been entertaining. I hope it's been entertaining for you. I don't want to take up too much more of your time. Guys, I'll see you in part number three very shortly. Thank you for watching. My name is Jacob McDonald. This is my YouTube channel and we have fun. That's what we do. I bring you reactions, I bring you vlogs, I bring you all types of content. Whatever interests me and my life at the time, I'm going to bring it to you guys, including this. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Yeah, I just hit my hand in a box. Cheers, guys.